In the first part of this video series, we took a look at how we could build the branches using fibers on top of fibers. Now let's take a look at how we're going to build the leaves using fibers and then finish off with adding flowers using micro mesh. Okay, with that third sub tool selected, I want to go ahead and build some leaves off this. Before I do anything, I want to use the new fiber masking feature. So down in the masking sub palette, I'm going to open up the profile curve. I'm going to add a dot and we're going to mask that off. And I'm actually going to inverse this mask. And then what I'm going to do next is go to our fibers mesh and hit preview. Let's go ahead and put some color on these so we can see what's happening as we start adjusting this. So the first thing we're going to need is we're going to need some more branches. And I don't want them to be as long. And we're definitely going to have to change our coverage. So let's get in here closer and really take a look at what we're doing here with these branches. So let's add some more coverage to this and start making some larger leaves. And our length is just too long right now. So let's drop that down. And we no longer need four profiles. So I'm going to drop that to one. So we're just looking at our leaves. The next thing we want to be taking a look at is where we want our flare to be. So right now, by default, the flare is set to negative one, which is at the base of our fibers. I'm actually going to move that to zero so the flare becomes more in the middle. And I'm going to play with my flare exponent here to get a different type of leaf happening. So we can keep adjusting our coverage and what we like. And then what we have here is a tree that we've started to create. So let's go ahead and create those leaves by hitting the accept. And let's begin by adding a flower. So ZBrush is asking me right now, do I want to go in fast preview mode? I'm just going to say no for now. So we have a great start to a tree. So let's go ahead and put the flowers on next. Before we put the flowers all over a tree, there is one thing I want to change with our leaves. So let's make sure that we have that subtool selected. I'm going to go into my fiber mesh rendering options here, and I'm going to change the sides here to be a two instead of a four. I don't want the leaves to render out with four sides like a cube kind of shape. I want them to be flat and just have two sides, one on the other. So now that we have that done, I've pre-loaded a flower that I've created here in ZBrush. So I want to put this flower all over our tree. I also have pre-made an insert brush, which is an insert plane, which is going to insert an individual plane. So what I'm going to be able to do now is just insert these planes all over my tree and use micro mesh to replace the planes with the flowers. The great thing about this brush is the, the size of the flowers are going to be dependent upon the size of the plane that I'm creating. So we'll just draw out a couple of these planes just so you get a general idea of what's happening here and what we can do when I just replace planes wherever I want on the tree so that I can have flowers all over the place. So that's pretty good. So let's just take a look at what we've been doing. We've created a couple subtools to get to a tree. Let's only look at our branches, tree leaves right now. So you can see that we have our leaves and if I turn on polyframe mode that our leaves are one polyframe color and our planes are several other colors. So I'm going to select out just the leaves and I'm going to inverse that so the only thing we're looking at are these planes. I'm going to go ahead and polygroup these so that they are one polygroup color. I'm going to click on our group visible. So now that we have one color of our planes. Let's bring back those leaves with the planes and in our subtool palette I'm going to go ahead and hit the group split button. So what I've done now is separated the leaves and our planes completely separate. So now all I have to do is assign the flower to these planes. So down at the bottom of our display properties, I'm going to click on select micro mesh and select our flower. ZBrush is reminding me that in the render properties, we need to turn on draw micro mesh. So now that I have that on, we've just replaced all these planes with our flowers. So let's bring back our whole tree and see what we get at render time. So you can see at render time, we've created this tree with fibers. And if you notice, all my planes have been replaced by flowers. Let's go in and take an even closer look of a render with the flowers replacing the planes. As you can see in this close up render, all the planes have been replaced by flowers. Remember that the size of the plane also will change the size of the flower. The bigger plane, you're going to have bigger flowers. With a smaller plane, you're going to have smaller flowers. Thank you for watching this video and please continue to watch more on Pixelogic.com.